Under the pretext of military exercises, the Chinese army actually surrounded the island, blocking the most important sea routes and air routes. The People's Liberation Army of China PLA, has launched an unprecedented live-fire military exercise in six areas near Taiwan, while establishing a virtual blockade of the island. In this regard, Taiwan officials said that China's actions violate the UN Charter, since Beijing is invading Taiwan's territorial space and obstructing free air and sea navigation. This is reported by Reuters. Following U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan, the Chinese military began exercises on the busiest waterways and air routes around the island. On this occasion, representatives of Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, said that Beijing's actions are illegal and irresponsible. In addition, the Taiwanese cabinet spokesman also said that the websites of the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Office of the President were attacked by hackers. In turn, Ma Xiaoguang, spokesman for the Taiwan Affairs Office under the State Council of the People's Republic of China, said that the problem of Taiwan is an internal affair of China, and not a regional problem. According to him, Beijing's actions are fully justified since Pelosi's visit was not aimed at maintaining the democratic freedoms of Taiwan, but was aimed at provocation and unceremonious interference in the sovereignty of the PRC. Recall that after the visit of the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi, the Chinese authorities imposed economic sanctions against Taiwan. In particular, restrictions were imposed on the export of natural sand, as well as the import of citrus fruits and two types of fish products. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov commented on Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. According to him, Washington has demonstrated its impunity and permissiveness on the principle of, what I want, I do.